श्रुति स्मृति पुराण आल करुणालय नमा भगवत्द शोकशंकर सहनावतु सहनौन सह वीर करवाह तेजस्वीना वदीतमस्तु मा विद्विषा वह ओ शाति 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 सनातन तदे शुक्र तद्रह्म तदे अमृत मुच्यते आश्रिता कश्चन दिस श्लोक आल्सो अपीयर्स इन भगवदीता कठोपनिषद मेनी श्लोक अपीयर इन भगवदीता हियर the entire creation totality of creation is compared to is uh, analogy is given a ashwatha tree okay ashwatha tree is people tree is considered as holy tree or sacred tree in india okay and the entire totality of creation an ashwatha tree is given as an example but here this ashwatha tree is very peculiar urtu moolam the roots are above okay other shaka all the branches are below it's a inverted tree normal trees roots are below the ground and the uh, the shoots and uh, leaves are above so here it's a inverted tree okay the roots are above the branches and leaves are below the root represents the brahman the root represents brahman or the supreme reality or yourself the roots normally are not seen roots cannot be seen okay in a tree roots cannot be seen similarly the ashwatha tree the roots cannot be seen but it's above why it is said above because it is not above means somewhere up up there okay it is above our mind <laughs> right so there is a one uh, uh, in hindi we say upar wala janta hai means the one who is above will know okay now the upar the moment you say upar wala we start reading oh somewhere somebody is sitting there above okay Somewhere sitting there in heaven and controlling. This is not what is Sanatan Dharma. The Brahman or the supreme reality is above our mind. It is not somewhere. It is He is in our heart. He is not somewhere above. <laughs> okay. So the word above should not confuse you. Now this confusion has come into Indian society not because of our Sanatan Dharma. because the influence and influence of western uh, other religions okay there was one uh, uh, one uh, westerner he wrote the book shakti and shakta uh, i forgot his name okay he he did an intensive study of indian spirituality and he wrote a lot of books on tantra So you remember the name of the day? Shakti. Um, Arthur Avalon. Arthur Avalon. Okay, Arthur Avalon. In early 19th century, early 20, uh, 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 early 19th century, 
he was he came to india he adopted complete indian lifestyle he learned sanskrit and he studied the uh, tantra shastra and wrote nice books on that because of him lot of tantra books have come out especially the serpent power and all and he was teaching in uh, what college uh, the, uh, in uh, kolkata a college in kolkata okay so while teaching as a he, uh, he, he, he took his uh, teaching profession he used to when the when the student comes to the class first time they have to introduce themselves so before introduction he will ask them show me with your hand where is god show me with your hand where is god show me with your hand okay he found only hindu students the students coming from sanatan dharma or hinduism they showed god is here okay rest of all the religions god is above so that's why when they pray the prayer is hands are shown above okay there is only sanadan that buddhism teaches you the god is within so now this above word should not confuse you upar wala word okay has come from other religion where people think that god is somewhere sitting and creating this universe in sanadan dharma god is within you without you and god is something which is transcendent and immanent he is in front of you it's only your understanding has to be corrected to recognize god it's not the god is standing in front of you all the time <laughs> okay he is immanent and transcendent god is not not somebody who is very far off far above so this upar or urdhva molam should not confuse you here urdhva doesn't mean above in the heaven urdhva means above the mind okay so what why does it difference make it makes a difference so when god is somewhere okay he is far away from you when god is within you okay you are very close he is all around you okay he is there's no place where god is not that's where we respect and learn to respect every aspect of creation respect plant respect tree respect sky respect water because god is all around brahman is all around in the saguna form in the nirguna form form he is above my mind okay so this is the greatness of sanatan dharma so root if you say is root just below the ground or root is within all aspect of the tree the root is nourishing the entire tree that means he is in the root the leaves also root is not just in the ground root is all the way in the leaves also so the root is not just some piece of plant lying below the ground the root is taking water and it is supplying to every leaf that means root is hidden in every leaf hidden in every stem hidden in the whole plant <laughs> the whole of creation brahman is there as a manifest reality that is the meaning of urdhva moolam adashaka now the moment you say urdhva moolam people start thinking uparwala uparwala is not above uparwala is above your mind but in your heart <laughs> so this understanding has to be clear otherwise our total understanding of society has changed because of the influence of a, a different cultures okay so the brahman is in your heart heart means intellect it is not in physical heart above your intellect that's all it means other shaka the branches are downwards where are the branches downwards it is coming as your mind it is coming as your prana it is coming as your body it is coming as society it is coming as a world okay so from above your intellect it is coming down to the world and it is compared to a tree okay why the tree will keep continuing the tree will give birth to another tree tree will give birth to another tree there is nowhere it is it becomes a forest so this world is like a forest world is like a forest it will keep continuing the individuals are like leaves they'll come they'll fall off they'll come they'll fall off 
they will dry and fall off. But the tree will continue. Why the tree will continue? The tree will continue because of the karma. The karmic impressions. Karmic impressions are the stem of the tree. The root is nourishing it. Okay. Entire world, this world, the, the shoot and the leaves and the branches represent the world, which is seen. And the root is not seen. But only thing is, see, see, uh, see, uh, the uh, Upanishad saying, root is above. Please understand, above doesn't mean above somewhere. It's not in the physical space. It is above your mental space. It's above your intellectual space. It's in your consciousness space. That's called above. Okay. Right? And the tree will continue to survive. The leaves will come and fall off. Leaves fall off. Like that we are born, we die. But the Brahman is nourishing. Okay. So coming back to a tree and plant analogy. A plant is giving beautiful flowers. So if you keep watering the flowers, the plant will die. You should water your root, water the root. So similarly, we are living in this samsara or the tree. What tree? People tree. Ashwatta Vraksha. Okay. We should take our attention to the root of Ashwatta Vraksha, which is Brahman. We should take our attention from the physical world, which is leaves, which is shoot, to the mental world, to the intellectual world and beyond. Beyond is God. That is consciousness. Beyond is your consciousness. And that consciousness is Brahman. Okay. And he is so close to you. The Brahman is so close to you. He is your self. <coughs> While what you see is the shoot. Your attention should go to the root. Is clear?